Hello students. We have earlier studied about polynomials and its solutions using graphical method. In our today's session, we will explore pair of linear equations in two variables. We will also learn to find its solutions graphically as well as algebraically. In earlier classes, we have already studied linear equations in one variable. For example, 2y plus 3 equal to 0. Observe the equation. What is the highest degree of variable? Recall students, degree is the highest exponent of the variable in the given equation. Accordingly, in our equation, degree of variable is 1 and hence it is called linear equation. How many variables are there in the equation? Yes, you are right. There is only one variable in equation, that is y. So, the given equation is one variable. So, can you guess what linear equation in two variables would be? Yes, you are right. As name suggests, it is equation with degree 1 but having two variables. Just like linear equation in one variable has one unknown in the equation, linear equation in two variables has two unknowns in the same equation. For example, Anita bought two erasers and one pencil for rupees 10. She does not know the individual cost of each pencil and eraser. How to know the individual cost of one eraser and one pencil? Anita knows that she can find out the cost of individual pencil and eraser using her knowledge of linear equations. So, she forms equation from the given conditions. She assumes cost of one eraser as x rupees and cost of one pencil as y rupees. As she bought two erasers which costed her rupees 2x while she bought one pencil which costed her rupees y and the total cost she paid was 10. Therefore, we can write the equation as 2x plus y is equal to 10. Look at the equation carefully. Can you tell me how many variables are there in the equation? Yes, there are two variables. One variable is cost of eraser denoted by x and second is cost of pencil denoted by y. Now students, let us rearrange this equation and write it as 2x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Looking at this, can you guess what would be the standard form of linear equation in two variables? Yes, you are right. It is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, where a, b and c can be any real numbers. a and b are the coefficients of x and y respectively. In any equation, coefficients cannot be 0. Similarly, here also a and b are not 0 individually or together. Also, the condition that sum of a and b cannot be 0 is denoted by the condition a square plus b square is not equal to 0. Students, as you noticed, we used linear equation to solve Anita's problem. Similarly, in our daily life, we make use of linear equations many times to solve problems. Some common applications of linear equations in real life involve calculations of age problems, speed, time and distance problems, geometry problems, money and percentage of problems, wages and hourly rate problems, force and pressure problems. As we see, linear equations find many real-life applications, but to use them, we need to know how to solve them. So, now let us see how to solve them. For that, let's go back to Anita's problem and try solving that. Students, there are many methods of solving linear equation in two variables. One very common method is the hit and trial method. Let us try assume some values of x and y. Let us assume different costs of one eraser that is x equal to 1, 2, 2.5, 3 and so on and substitute in our equation 2x plus y is equal to 10. So, if we assume cost of one eraser that is x as 1, putting 1 in equation and on solving we get value of y as 8 that is calculated cost of one pencil is 8 rupees. Similarly, if we assume x as 2, we get y as 6. 
or if we assume x as 2.5 or 3, we get y as 5 and 4 respectively. Thus, as you can observe, we get infinite number of solutions. And also, this becomes very lengthy process to find out exact cost of pencil and eraser. Therefore, to be able to solve an equation like this accurately, another equation needs to be used alongside it. Only then it is possible to find out the answer for the given equation. Thus, when two or more linear equations are grouped together, they form a system of linear equations. So to find out the exact cost of eraser and pencil, we need another equation. For that, we require another condition. Let us say, this time Anita bought 3 razors and 4 pencils at total cost of Rs 30. So the equation becomes 3x plus 4y equal to 30. If we consider the second equation independently, we will again get infinite solutions. To get a unique solution, we will have to solve both the equations together. Since we have to consider both the equations at the same time, we also call them as simultaneous equations. By solving both the equations together, we get the cost of eraser as rupees 2 and cost of pencil as rupees 6. The detailed steps of the solutions we will learn in the forthcoming videos. Therefore, x equal to 2 and y equal to 6 is a unique solution of the equations 3x plus 4y equal to 30 and 2x plus y is equal to 10. We can verify this solution by putting values of x and y back in the equation. And if right hand side becomes equal to left hand side, then values are true for x and y. Substitute x equal to 2 and y equal to 6 in the left hand side of both the equations. For first equation, left hand side is equal to 3x plus 4y. Substituting 2 and 6, we get 30, which is our right hand side. Now, for equation 2, left hand side is equal to 2x plus y. Substituting value 2 and 6, we get 10, which is equal to right hand side. Thus, we have found out the solution of a pair of linear equations, which is nothing but a numerical value for each variable that will satisfy both the equations at the same time. We can represent them as 2,6 as ordered pair. So in our example, we got unique solution for the pair of linear equation. But students, sometimes a pair of linear equations may not have a solution. And sometimes a pair may have an infinite number of solutions. Accordingly, we can categorize pair of linear equation by the number of solutions also. First, when a system of linear equation has unique solution, the system is said to be a consistent system. There is another type of consistent system where there are infinite solutions for a given pair. Such a system is called dependent consistent system. Second, when a system of linear equation has no solution, the system is said to be an inconsistent system. So students, we have learned that linear equations in two variables are equations having two variables. And a pair of linear equations in two variables consist of two equations with the same variables. The standard form of linear equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Thus, a simultaneous equations consist of system of two or more linear equations with the same variables. If there are two equations in the system, then they are called as pair of linear equations in two variables. To solve a system of two linear equations, we need to find such values of both the variables x and y that act as a solution to both equations. In other words, we look for the ordered pairs x, y, whose numerical value satisfy both equations true at the same time. The solution of a system of equations are the values of variables that make all the equations true. There are three types of pair of linear equations in two variables based on number of solutions. If pair has solution, it is called consistent pair. While if it does not have any solution, then it is called as inconsistent pair. 
but consistent pair which has infinite solutions is called dependent consistent pair. In our next video, we will learn about graphical method in detail to solve pair of linear equations in two variables.